and we are back! Hi everyone, this is GOG Gaming with your host Demon Queen 21 and Awesome Soy Sauce and our special guest Dina Deans and we are playing the Banner Saga, the first one the second one is out on Steam if you haven't checked it out already but we are playing the first one before we get that one we just finished all our leveling up shit and camp and stuff and we're taking our leave now yeah. Also found out that Eagle's hot on a lead. Yeah. Okay, you. this part's really cool, and this is why I was kind of like, okay, maybe we might need some more renown, because I forget. So, yeah. You're only just outside the village when two men in red approach. My name is Hogun, says one, gesturing to the other. My brother is Morgun. Many from the village wish to join you from Frostfeller. Frostfeller, yeah. So, you just arrived here, and like, so after you told them that the dredge attacked, and that you had to run... Um, a lot of them are like, hey, we should probably, can we, like, go with you? Okay. A third man, excrudy, ex exuding, exuding rage, charges up to the group. Shut your mouth, Hogan, he screams. So just a little aside, Hogan and Mogan are, um... What's going on? What was your oh, yeah. side note? <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, Hogan and Mogan are, I, it's like... The two of them are, like, their names are, like, a slight variation on, like, Hugin and Mugen, which are the two ravens that Odin has on his shoulders um, that are, like, his scouts that tell him, like, what's happening in the world. They fly over the world, like, each one goes a different direction, and then they come back and report to him. So, just a little side note. Hmm, that's cute. Town leader. These bastards don't speak for us. They've been trying to divide the village since you got here. True. You can keep whoever wants to stay and die. The rest of us are both reasonable people of skull. Do they literally look the same? They're, exactly, they're the exactly the same character model. The only difference is the scar. Oh my gosh. I'll have both of you gutted before I let half the village desert. Behind the angry villager, a mob of armed thugs have appeared. All fear and brows and near these stairs. You both know what will happen to the rest of us if the fields are abandoned. Nobody leaves. I'm a leader. I don't want to be a leader anymore. Uh, so... There won't be anything to tend towards the dredge fire. That, that's true. Or we can just say nothing and let them deal with it. Well, I feel like we should still, like, warn them about the Yeah, they're, the dredge. They're dredge. Dredge my ass. I don't know what the scam is this time, Hogan, but you got two choices. Get back to work or I'm finally putting you in the ground. Holy shit. Morgan, what do you say? Thought it was unfair that he only asked me. <laughs> I love that it's literally the same character model. It's Morgan exactly the same. Morgan draws his axe slowly, followed by Hogan. <laughs> They're even moving their hand see. the same way. Yeah, let's wait. Hold up. Like, in Are they sync. Do oh my oh, gosh. Yeah, it's in, it's in <laughs> sync. So it's creepy. really funny. Despite their confidence, the brothers are significantly outnumbered. I think I made a poor farmer. Um, 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 uh, settle this yourself. Right? Right? Yeah. Yeah? I mean, it's up to you. Fuck y'all. You step back as one thug lunges forward and is caught in the rip by Hogan's axe. The air soon rings with the sound of screams and axe heads against shield. Four men lie down, dead on the ground before the others run. You hurt, Morgan? No, we should've done that years ago. Dang, so they're, they're uh, pretty good warriors. Can't go around killing for no good reason. This was a good reason. Basically. That, that's my drone impression. The brothers head back to the village, and soon many of the villagers have joined your caravan. Hogan introduces you to his young wife, young son, and wife. All grins, unconcerned about the fact that you never agreed to let them come. You don't bother arguing. Before long, you set out again. Cool. So you got 84 clansmen, 11 fighters, plus 5 renown, plus 15 supplies. Uh, unfortunately, your morale has become poor, so you may want to rest. Uh, however, I think that... So here's your options. You can basically rest and burn some supplies. Um, or you can push through, because I think where you're trying to go is really close. Okay. Alet marches quietly alongside the caravan, a little distance since leaving the village. When you stop for rest, oddly approaches you both. Alet, I have something for you. 
Oddleaf has gathered up a long banner from the caravan and smiles warmly as she passes it to Aladdin. What's this about? I was hoping you'd sew up the banner with everything that has happened since we left school. So, um, that's their way of, like, telling their history and keeping records, is they they weave what happens to them into the banner. So they sew, like, the images of the ink their banners. Come find me another time, Rook, and we'll talk. Oh, snap. Before you can comment, she departs. Dad, are you the chieftain now? Looks that way. Guess I'll have to find out later. <laughs> He's like, well, whatever, it's probably okay. <laughs> whatever. Oh, then, then that means... You're both quiet for a moment while Alet unfurls the banner. Oddleaf has been teaching me how to sew. She speaks pretty highly of you. Can we read the part about Mom? You nod. On the banner has been sewn the story of the families who have lived in Skulker throughout the years, just as is done on every banner in every town. I wish she were still here, but I'm kind of glad she isn't. The section of banner about your family is short, but Let has been sewing in colorful designs. Why do you say that? So she doesn't have to deal with all of this. Dredge, leaving home, and... Why didn't you stop those men from killing each other in the village? I mean, if it's okay to ask. Well, then... It wasn't my decision to make. It, it wasn't my decision yeah, to make. I mean... It wasn't my fucking village. Deciding what happens to other people? I'm glad I'm not you. I want to know what to do. Uh, yeah. It's not exactly my calling either. Basically. Yeah, I know, Dad. Dang, she's calling you out on that, too. She's I like, think you're doing yeah. a good job. She hugs you. You spend the rest of your time together sewing new verses into the banner. For better or worse, the story of school <laughs> is your burden now. You know what? Butchering the names. Cool. Don't so, you guys? Oddly said to go talk to her, remember? And there she oh, is, is over is, there. Do we not have a market to buy shit? No, no. this is just camp. Fuck. Holy shit. Oh, I gotta talk to her. How are you doing, Odd? I'm alright. Not at first. Sometimes when a loved one dies, people say it doesn't sink in for a while. It sunk in for me right away. People tell me I'm a strong woman. Dang. It's funny. My father named me Oddleaf before I was even born. He wanted a boy so badly. Strong woman. What does that even mean? I never cared for that expression. He says, wow. That's funny. It means, oh! it means you're gonna be okay. What do I pick? It means you're going to be okay. It means you're gonna be okay. That's not being strong. That's just being. <laughs> If I feel nothing about my husband dying, people think I'm strong. If I cry because my insides feel like they're on fire, I'm weak. Why does that feel so backwards? I'm sorry, Rook. It's been hard. Like you are. Mm. You're not sure what to say. Dang. <laughs> In the many years you've known the chiefs and wives, this is probably the most you've ever talked. You asked me to come find you. Yes, it's about the banner. I thought about it a long time. He asked me to give it to you, you know, if something happened. Why me? Yeah. Good question, yeah. He always depended on you, Rook. It should be mine. I could carry it, but I thought about why he named you. I get it. They won't follow a woman. Families would leave. Our band would be divided. You're probably right. Oh, damn. Just legit, you're probably right. I know I'm right on this one. Oh, wow. It's not just about our small town. What happens the first time we need something from another clan? How will that go? With rape and pillage? Basically, yeah. And the first time someone thinks they can take advantage of us? I think this is what has to happen. Maybe this is what it means to be a strong woman. <laughs> Accurate. Or just, oh. 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 <laughs> I love that that's an option. Oh. <laughs> she looks sideways, eventually giving over a timid smile. I'm not sure if that's the dumbest thing I've heard. Or the sweetest. Listen, I know I dragged this out. The truth is, my husband and I could never have a child. I don't want our banner to end here. It'll be safe with you and Alette. I know you're going to take care of her. She puts her hand on your shoulder. She heads back to the camp. Plus five renown. Ooh. Why do we get five renown for that shit? Uh, I think whenever you like make certain like noble choices mm -hmm. and things, it'll give you like renown. So did we pick the noble choice for that? I think so, yeah. Okay. Anyways, that's kind of... Nothing really happened, but that's yeah, all the slow time that's we okay. have. Thank you guys for checking us out.
Remember to like and subscribe below. And make sure you get our other videos going.